Now with the middleware that we've added, we've added a redirect if unauthenticated. Now this is likely going to be the case for lots of different routes. For example, a user's dashboard, uh, being able to create a topic, maybe a post route to actually create the topic rather than just a, a page where they can enter the topic details. And this can really be anything. Of course, uh, we will want to protect lots of our application against people that are not authenticated or people that maybe haven't paid to access content. It could be absolutely anything. Now the problem is when we start to introduce more uh, controller methods, so just imagine we had say a create topic method just down here. So in this case, let's just return create topic. And this was something like create. Then really this is gonna start to get a little bit messy. If we just come over to our roots, duplicate this down and just say something like topic slash create, we don't want a user to access this page if they're not authenticated. So again, we attach middleware. Now I'm sure you can see that if we were to be adding lots of these, we're gonna get into a mess pretty quickly. And that is where Slim is so flexible in terms of how we define our routes that we can actually add middleware to a root group. Now we've already looked at root groups, but let's just go ahead and demonstrate this just to kind of refresh our memory. What we can do in this case is we can say app group here and in this case, what we're going to say is just nothing. So no prefix to this whatsoever. We're going to go ahead and define out our closure in here. What we can do is put this inside of our group. And in this case, remember, we need to call this get rather than app get. And now what we can do is simply take this, get rid of it from each of these like that, and instead attach the middleware to the group. Now you have something a lot tidier. You probably have lots of different things that you want to protect. You can go ahead and define them like this. And this could be anything. You could include your dashboard, a controller in here, uh, anything at all. So it just makes things a lot tidier. So again, we can test that this works if we just come over to topics one. And in this case, we actually get an error. And this is quite an interesting error. So I'm pretty glad this has come up. Uh, we can see here static root topics create is shadowed by previously defined variable root topics. And then we have some regex here. Now, what's happened is if you think about the ordering of your roots, we have topics slash create. But this is kind of a placeholder for topics slash anything. Now, usually to solve this, and in most frameworks, it's the same case, I just reorder this. So we know that we've defined out a static topics create route here with this URL. And then in here, we've gone ahead and said topics ID, give it a refresh and we get the same result. So uh, in terms of root ordering, that's just a really good tip. So I'm glad that error came up there. Either way, we've just been redirected to the login page. We know that this works. So we have to be uh, authenticated to access create and we have to be authenticated to access uh, ID. And of course here as well, we don't need to be authenticated. So this is still just gonna work in the same way. Now, if for example, you had a route that you wanted to control or protect against people that maybe were already signed in, what I would recommend you do is go ahead and create a group for these as well. So you could in fact say, well, inside of here, I want maybe a login route. So let's just copy this to save a bit of time. Maybe you had slash login and then over here you maybe had an auth controller and then you had maybe a login method. And then maybe here you had register like so with maybe a register controller and then you had some kind of register method. Well, in this case, what you could probably do is add some middleware and this would be maybe redirect if authenticated so it's the opposite of being unauthenticated and again you could pass through your router from your container if you needed to redirect to a specific page by name now this means that you have kind of two middleware groups to your application things that anyone can access regardless of whether they're signed in or not things that people have to be signed in for and things that you don't want people to uh, go on to and see if they are already signed in. So if they are signed in, we don't need to re-log in. If they are signed in, we probably don't need to register. So hopefully that makes sense. We won't implement that because we've pretty much covered everything you would need to implement that if you wanted to. But there we go. That is how we conveniently use middleware on groups just to kind of cut down on the amount of code repetition we have.